This is why I have been saying for so long that capitalism is not the problem. The way corporations have corrupted our government is the problem. <laughs> Big Pharma is also providing the FDA with about 50% of their funding. And what that means is that Big Pharma is paying for the studies a lot of times uh, that the FDA is using to regulate Big Pharma. Yep. <laughs> so when they say that, you know, our government is bought out by corporations, it's true. The whole relationship between the free market and the government no longer exists. It no longer exists. This is why we see the government bailing out the free market. Oh, government bailouts, government bailouts. Yes, that's because this relationship has been disrupted. And these corporations are telling these politicians and these agencies what to do, which means if they need a bailout because their company is failing, they've got a lot of strings they can pull to make sure that they get it. The sad part about this is that, first of all, the only way that we could fix this problem is by overturning the Citizens United versus the FEC decision. That's not going to happen. It, you can't just overturn something. So it would require a constitutional amendment in order to restore this balance. Now, how are we going to get a constitutional amendment when all of these politicians are quite literally being funded by these corporations? That's the worst part about it. And this is something that the Democratic Party used to talk about. But now the Democratic Party, again, is bought and paid for by these corporations. Same with the Republican Party. They're just different industries. The Republican Party has industries that fund them, and the Democratic Party has different industries that fund them. So really, what's happening in our government is not a clash of Republican versus Democrat, the people versus the people. It's a clash of corporations versus corporations. Different industries are fighting, and that's really what's happening when it comes to America's election. It has nothing to do with what you need as a citizen. That full video is about five minutes. I highly recommend finding it on his page and watching it because it is so informative and the visual, I just, ah, chef's kiss. And this is why it is in our power as people to defund these corporations so they have nothing to stand on and, and rather build up small businesses and turn back to our communities like we used to. That is Pluto and Aquarius. There's a reason we saw this at an all-time high, and it's currently still at an all-time high, this corruption in the U.S. because of Pluto and Capricorn. And it's my personal belief that RFK is really a fighting force to break down these systems, this corruption. He is a Capricorn. He was born during a cancer full moon. Like, he is here to bring the needed transformation to our governmental systems so that they are no longer being corrupted by these corporations. And we're seeing it in real time, and I'm just, ah, I'm so excited about it. Be the change, start a business, support small businesses. How can you create more community where you are? Doing things in your neighborhood or your town or whatever, like that is the future, that's what we're moving into, and that's what we need to really be building and focusing on as a collective versus putting our focus way, 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 way outside of us. Focus on you, your family, your neighborhood, your town, and you'll be aligned with this Pluto and Aquarius shift.